Can you get rid of slugs and snails using cucumbers and aluminum? Well, the internet says this works and I wanted to find out if it really does. So in this video, I'm going to put it to the test. Before I do that, let me read a little bit from the internet so that you understand the method that you use here. Place a few cucumber slices or pieces of peel in a small aluminum dish, tin or foil and put this in your garden at regular intervals under plants that slugs and snails like best. Cucumbers contain a chemical that reacts with the aluminum. This reaction creates a scent that is undetectable to humans but drives slugs and snails crazy, causing them to flee the area. Lots of places on the internet say this works and it's pretty easy to test, so why don't we go and test it? So what I've done is taken a piece of aluminum foil, cut the center out, and laid it down on a plastic container. I then got some pieces of cucumber, cut them up fairly small, and laid it on the aluminum. I let that sit for a few minutes so the reaction can take place. Now I couldn't smell anything, but now it's time to introduce the slugs. Let's see what they do. Now slugs are pretty slow moving, so I've sped this up quite a bit so that you don't have to sit around all day watching these guys. Wow, just look at them go. They're heading straight away from the cucumbers. Oh, no, no, just a minute. Actually, they're heading for the cucumbers. I guess the smell of the chemical that's created doesn't really bother them. I don't know where these ideas come from, but for the most part, home remedies for slugs and snails don't work. This one in particular is kind of dumb. There's this magical reaction that takes place, but nobody knows what chemical is produced. Nobody gives a reference to indicate that the slugs hate this chemical. This is just some dumb bit of stuff that was invented by someone and a whole bunch of gardeners fall for it. I've done a whole video to show you other methods for getting rid of slugs and snails, and I go through each one and tell you which ones work, which ones don't work, and what you should do to get slugs and snails out of your garden. Stop believing all the nonsense you read on the internet. And if you want to read more about garden myths, have a look at my two books, Garden Myths Book 1 and Book 2. And there's a link to get the information about those right here. 